This lesson helps you understand the fundamental counting principle. In order to count the possible outcomes of an event, you don't have to use organized lists, tables, or tree diagrams. You can use the fundamental counting principle, which states, if event M has M possible outcomes, and event N has N possible outcomes, then the compound event M followed by N has M times N possible outcomes. For example, when you roll a pair of dice, each dice has six possible outcomes. So the number of possible outcomes for a pair is 6 times 6 equals 36. For another example, if you toss a coin and roll a dice, there are two possible outcomes for the coin and six possible outcomes for the dice. So that's 2 times 6 equals 12 possible outcomes. You can use the fundamental counting principle to calculate the probability of events. In this example, you are going to roll a dice and randomly select a letter from the word numbers. There are six possible outcomes for the dice and seven letters in the word numbers. So that's a total of six times seven equals 42 possible outcomes. So the probability of rolling a six and selecting the letter M would be one chance in 42, two percent. This table shows the different waist sizes leg length and style in the jeans shop. There are five waist sizes, three leg lengths, and three styles. Using the fundamental counting principle, there are five times three times three equals 45 different combinations. The probability that a 32 by 34 slim fit is selected randomly is one chance in 45, or about 2%. Not very likely. For one more example, a toy shop has model cars and action figures. There are five different car colors, and two types of action figures, male and female. This gives a total of 5 times 2 equals 10 different possible outcomes. The probability of randomly selecting an orange car and a female action figure is 10%. This lesson helped you understand the fundamental counting principle. And this lesson was brought to you by the Math Fun Academy, its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new math and new equations, to boldly go where no math student has gone before.